No tears to cry Even if I tried But still my soul Refuses to
chosen generation We've been called for to show His excellence All I require for life God has given me And I know who I am We are are a chosen generation We've been called for to show His excellence to be in your presence. Yes, it is. We don't take it lightly. Oh, God. There's nothing worth more that could ever come close. No thing can compare. You're our living hope. Your are Thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you this very hour. We commit our listeners, our watchers, 
into your hands tonight, Lord. We pray, Holy Spirit, that you come through for us. You minister through our hearts. Let every soul that hears your voice tonight know that indeed you are God and there is nothing that you cannot do. We commit tonight in your hands. I pray and I bring everyone that will be tuning in in your hands, Holy Spirit, have your way. Work in us, work on us in Jesus' name, amen. By your presence, Lord. Oh, how we love! Oh, how we love! Oh, how we need! Oh, how we need your. Oh, how we love, oh, how we love. Let's raise it together. They'll say there's nothing worth more oh, my Lord. that could ever come to Glory to God. Nothing can compare. You're our living hope. You're our living hope. Your precious Lord. God bless you wherever that you are. Spirit. How are you doing tonight? I this place. It's so amazing. We are already in the month of October. Your glory, God. And the month of October have been declared. Lord. Our month of redemption. Is a month that God is going to cause the joy in the Lord to overflow within us. Yes. Our month of redemption. So somebody listening. Somebody watching us. Just stay tight. I want you to do me a favor. Connect with a family or friend. Let's do this together tonight. We need a presence of the Lord tonight. your presence let us experience the let us become more aware hallelujah let us experience everybody say let us Those of you watching us on Facebook, kindly share the video. Invite a brother or a friend, a sister, a mother, a father. Tell that person that Pastor Cobb Nodalcon is live on Magic Touch Radio. And tonight we are here with a voice of hope. And I prayed and I believe God that tonight before we leave the studios, you will be a blessing. Hallelujah to you, the name of Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. 
Somebody say praise God. Somebody say glory to the name of Jesus. He's worthy tonight, your presence, Lord. Let us experience your presence, Lord.
Turn your Bibles with me to Psalm 103. Psalm 103. Somebody open your Bible to the book of Psalm chapter number 103. Psalm chapter number 103. Psalm chapter number 103. Bible said that praise the Lord my soul and all my innermost being praise his holy name. Praise the Lord on my soul and all my innermost being praise his holy name. I don't know you i don't i don't i don't know about you but as for me the lord has been good to me the lord has been good to my family and the lord has been good to the church we cannot even count our blessings worship we cannot even name our blessings you are here it is mind blowing working it, it is amazing place. it is just awesome it is just amazing magnificent you all my innermost being Move. it means that everything that is within you everything that you can lay hold on you anything that you can sacrifice anything that can appreciate god he said you, let everything that has bread praise the name of the lord we have been created to worship. worship we have been created to praise huh? god can do everything but one thing god cannot do is to praise himself hey. is to worship himself you. so as a reason that is why we are alive and, and it is our core mandate to praise god so he says that praise the lord my soul the songwriter says that my soul rejoice you see your soul connects with god your heart connects with god that is the reason why your soul can be downcasted your soul can be very depressed but i said that praise the lord my soul it puts you in a place of excitement and he puts you in a place that you are ready to give god some praise and tonight that is what somebody is about to do somebody is about to go before god and give god some praise you'll be like god i thank you from my innermost being whether you are sick lying down on a sick bed you just want to say father i want to praise you from my innermost being whether it is left with your last breath you just want to say that father i thank you because you have been my god just begin to ponder about this begin to think about this right from beginning of the year up to this time we began the year with many but as we speak they are nowhere we began the year with many but many are those that have gotten themselves involved in all kinds of trouble but as for you and i we can go we can camp it is not how skillful we are it's not how smart we are it is not how intelligent we are it is not about the school that we have been to it is not about the titles it is not about the things that we know best to do it is all about the goodness of god and the mercy of god so tonight if you are watching me on facebook if you are listening to me on magic touch radio i just came to 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 join hands together so that we can we can praise god so that we can tell god something this is the first thursday of the month of october that is the 10th month it is our month of redemption bible said that let the redeem of the lord say says that where my spirit is there is liberty so this month is a month of redemption and those that are redeemed from the snails of the father those that are redeemed from the powers of darkness those that are redeemed from from the hands of the evil one will always stand and give god some praise 
That is the reason why you have to understand and know that God is good and his mercy endure it forever. That is the reason why you have to understand that if he have not been the Lord on our side, where will you and I be? When the enemy rose up against us, seeking for someone to devour, we have been kept safe, we have, we have, we have been kept alive. You are here. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody give God some praise. Begin to say, Father, I thank you for all that you continue to do for me. I don't, we don't take it, we don't take it lightly. We don't have to take it lightly. We don't have to, we don't have to be like it is a norm. Oh, I will go and sleep and wake up. No, it is not automatic to go to bed and wake up. Somebody, are you here with me? It is not automatic to go to bed and wake up. It takes, it takes a hand. It takes a hand that is stronger and mightier to save us, to bring us out, to deliver us. The verse 2 says that praise the Lord my soul and forget not all his benefits. He says that praise the Lord my soul and forget not all his benefits. God is good. The one living inside of us. Praise be to the name of Jesus. So Jesus. Glory to the name of Jesus. He is a faithful God. How many of you believe that God is a faithful God? Oh yes, he is a faithful God. He is a faithful God. He is a faithful God. Somebody begin to say faithful God. You he said, I forget not all his benefits. What has the Lord done in your life? How the greatest miracle we experience every moment in our life is for us to be counted among the living. And you're working. There are some people that are stronger. There are some people that are, that are healthier, but they went out and they never came back. Lift up your it's because of his hand that has sustained us. His righteous right hand. The mighty hand of God. He is our mighty man of valor. When Jehoshaphat and the people of Judah didn't know what to do, he said, The Father, we don't know what to do, but we fix our eyes on you. They began to praise, and before they realize, victory has become theirs. Your praise will bring you the victory. Your praise will bring you the deliverance. Your praise will bring you that redemption. Your praise will bring you to a place that God has ordained you to be. Your praise will determine the level that you will go and the level that you operate. God does not want ungrateful, ungrateful people in his, in his land. Anytime we become appreciative of what he is doing, God begins to add more to your life. But the point is that we have a lot of people that are ungrateful. But tonight, somebody listening to me, watching me, you are not part of those. Because it has been a privilege and an honor to come before you. To be a blessing unto you. God always want people that are always in tune with him and they are willing to connect with him. God want people that are in tune with him and are willing to connect with him. God wants people that are willing and are in tune with him. Ingratitude, ingratitude can bring us to a place of destitute. Ingratitude can bring us to a place of dissatisfaction. But gratitude and appreciation will take us to another height. It will cause God to add more favor. It will cause God to to, to, to add more grace. It will cause God to, to empower us and doubt us. So David said, that, Who am I that you are mindful of? And what is my house that you care so much about? It is not about him. It was about the grace that was upon his life. 
David, no matter the sins that he committed, always go back to God, uh, plead for mercy, and always continue to praise God. Appreciating God, blessing God, honoring God, worshiping God, and making sure that he was always in a mood of a gratitude heart, a thankful heart, a heart that is full of praise tonight somebody right now listening you got to develop that heart that mindset that attitude of gratitude hallelujah Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. But you will move this way, God. You whose path not can trace. Oh, on me, mighty are your Somebody lift up your voice right now. Father, we want to thank you tonight. We want to praise your name. We want to love you. We want to worship you. We want to praise your name. We want to thank you for all that you have done and all that you are doing. We are forever grateful unto you, O God. We are. We have come before you with a grateful heart. We have come before you with a heart full of thanksgiving and praise. We have come before you because you have been our Lord. You have been our shield. You have been our buckler. You have been our redeemer. You have been the God of ages that have stood by us through time, through the thick and thin. And tonight we are here. Tonight we are alive. Tonight we can move. Tonight we can do everything that we can do. It is not about us it is about you tonight lord therefore we thank you somebody lift up your voice begin to thank god for your life uh, whilst you are thanking god for your life why don't you lift up your voice begin to bless god for your family begin to thank god for your family david said that i will praise the lord at all times and his praise shall continuously be in my mouth uh, his praise shall continually be on my lips. Uh, father we give you all the praise because what you have done is amazing in our lives uh, what you have done is magnificent what you have done is wonderful what you have done is unique what you have done is glorious what you have done is is is, is so much is so much amazing oh god therefore we come before you with a grateful heart we thank you come before you with a heart full of praise we come before you saying that we salute your supremacy we thank you for how far that you have brought us today is the 4th of october 2018 it is it, it is it has been by you it has been by your grace it has been by your kindness it has been by your love it has been by your care it has been by your hand it has been by your power it has been by all that you can to sustain us to bring us this far we give you praise lord let the name of the lord be praised let the name of god be lifted let the name of god be adored let the name of god be be be, be magnified tonight we give you praise lord we thank you lord we we honor you lord we say we are so much grateful we are so much thankful we love you lord we bless you lord we say we we worship you we thank you we honor you we give you all the praise we we say jesus you are god take your place tonight 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 we are grateful lord we thank you lord we bless you lord somebody begin to thank god for the life of your children thank god for the life of your family thank god for the life of your wife thank god for the church thank god for what he's doing in the life of others thank god for all that he's doing in the life of people begin to praise god begin to honor god begin to bless the name of jesus father we thank you we give you all the praise lord we thank you we give you all the praise lord we give you all the praise lord we honor and bless you we glorify your name thank you jesus thank you jesus what you have done in our lives is amazing we we don't know where to 
start from and where to end up we cannot even count our blessings we cannot even we cannot even count our our blessings so lord you are you have been so kind you have been so loving you have been so caring you have protected us you have preserved our lives this very hour all that we are saying father may your name alone be praised may your name alone be lifted may your name alone be glorified may your name alone be exalted we give you all the praise we give you all the praise lord father we thank you we give you praise thank you lord we give you all the praise lord we give you all the praise we give you all the praise lord we give you all the praise lord thank you lord we thank you we give you all the praise we give you all the praise lord thank you lord we bless your name we bless your name lord 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 thank you holy spirit father you are god father you are god father you are god father you are god, father, you are god. we honor you O oh god we honor you O oh god we bless your name O oh god we give you all the praise in the name of jesus thank you lord the month of october is the month that we are appreciating men of god it's a month that we 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 loving on our pastors and the men of god that have been a blessing to our life i want us to take this opportunity to thank god for the life i want you to thank god for your pastor i want you to thank god for a, a, a man of god that has been a blessing and inspiration and has imparted positively in your life i just want you to open your mouth and begin to thank god for for the life of your pastor i want you to thank god for my life oh, Jesus. it takes the grace and the hand of god for for us to be able to come on this radio to be a blessing we too we are flesh and blood why don't you lift up your voice begin to thank god for your pastor specifically thank god for your pastor's family thank god for your pastor's wife thank god for their life father in the name of jesus i thank you for the life of all the ag pastors in our region for all the ag pastors in our district for all the ag pastors in this dallas metropolis i give you all the praise i thank you for the men of god in the dfw area i thank you for the lives that they are transforming oh god i give you all the praise for their lives may your name be praised I thank you for the Dr. Bonsus. I thank you for the Dr. Freeze. I thank you for the Reverend Annalise. I thank you for the Dr. Lee Falls. I thank you for their families. May your name be praised, O oh God, for their lives. I thank you for the Browns. I thank you for the life. Dr. Brown, the wife and, and the family. I give you praise, O oh God. May your name be praised. I give you all the praise for all the men of God in this metropolis. I give you all the praise, O oh God, for all that you are doing in the various churches you are using them to do it is just a mind-blowing oh god uh, that you are you keep you keep protecting them you keep preserving them you keep you keep you 
causing them to to walk in your ways and do your will um, father may your name be praised i thank you for the life of my brother in austin um, reverend richard jb may your name be praised i thank you for the life of the wife um, i thank you for the church all nations um, i thank you for all the churches in our metropolis i thank you for the senior pastors i thank you for the able pastors that are helping and supporting icgc assemblies of god um, i thank you for hope international i thank you for act, act of god i give you praise life gate um, i thank you divine grace i thank you for their life um, a life bible church um, father may your name be praised um, apc gaveling place gaveling palace chapel um, i thank you for their lives of god may your name be praised um, may your name be lifted may your name be glorified um, jesus you are god there is none like unto you there is none that can be compared unto you therefore tonight all that i'm saying may your name be praised somebody thank god for your pastor somebody thank god for your pastor your pastor has been good i thank you for church of pentacles i thank you for their pastors i thank you for their elders i thank you for the presidents i give you all the praise of god everywhere that the name of god is being mentioned anybody that stands to minister your word in truth and in spirit all these years people have been in in ministry for years father it is time that we just want to say that we go on our knees and we appreciate you for their lives we give you praise for their lives up we thank you for all that you continue to do for them on a daily basis we thank you for all that you continue to do for them on on each and every hour minute second it just is just by your doing oh god let your name be praised let your name be praised let your name be praised lord let your name be praised lord let your name be praised lord Lord, in the name of jesus I believe you agree with, 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 with me that there is a necessity and a need to pray for our pastors. The pastor does not have a friend. The pastor is always at the subject and the realms of discussion. The pastor always becomes the target. So if the head is being cut off, the entire body is cutted. Thank God for the life of your pastor. Ephesians chapter number says the verse 19. Ephesians chapter number says the verse 19. They bring the gospel of good news. If you want the pastor is sick, the pastor got to come and give a word. When the pastor cannot, the pastor has to do it. Praying for church members, calling them, checking up on them. But nobody calls the pastor. When something goes wrong, it is the fat pastor that will be the main target. We, we got to pray for the pastors we got we got to soak them in the blood of jesus this work is more spiritual than physical you see them as they go and come it is more spiritual battles than physical battles as for the complaints that people will complain and the talkings here and there does not even shake anything but that which has been established the gatekeepers in the communities and the territorial powers that the pastors got to bind and loose they are always at the war front they always at the war front we got to lift our pastors in prayer i believe that everybody watching me i believe that anybody that is listening for once you have a covering and that covering is your pastor the mistake that we we often do is that because somebody called us and says something to us we begin to malign our pastors and begin to go in their direction a man of god said that we were teaching you prayer but when somebody came and taught you faith you put the prayer aside and you followed faith when somebody came and taught you deliverance you put the faith aside and you follow deliverance so there is no direction but the pastor is always with you through the thick 
and thing. When there is happiness, the pastor is there with you. When when you are mourning, the pastor is there for you. The pastor becomes the epitome and the center of everything. And at times when the pastor is not there, you could see that there is a great vacuum in the church. You got to pray. We've got to pray for the pastors. Let's listen to what Paul said. Ephesians chapter number 6, the verse 19. He said that pray also for me that whenever I speak, words may we say that whenever I speak, words may be given me so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am ambassador in chains. So from where Paul was speaking from. He has been he has been chained in Rome. But yes, they said that pray, speaking to Epaphroditus, speaking with Timothy, speaking to T Titus, that you gotta stand with me in prayer. At least you have to pray for your pastor every day. Pray for your for your pastor's family every day. The month of October, somebody got to lift your pastor in prayer. What the, the miracles that you want to see happening in the church. You see, the, the signs and wonders that will manifest in the church. It will be as a result of the prayer that you secretly pray for your pastor. So Paul said, pray for me also too. Paul did not position himself that he knows everything. Paul did not position himself that he can pray best. But he said that I need that prayer so that when I stand to speak, I will speak fearlessly. That is number one. And when I stand to speak, I will speak the mystery of God. Mysteries are hidden things. It is the pastor that downloads the mysteries from above and begin to explain it in, 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 in plain words and in in words that you can understand so you got to you you got to always stand in the garb for your pastor stand in the garb for your your pastor's family at times your pastor will be preaching a message you know that it is not going the way it's supposed to go because you are not praying but your prayer can make a change your prayer can turn the ministry upside down there is no magic anywhere it is your prayer so we want to lift up our voice we want to go before god you just want to lift your pastor before god and you are saying god i pray that you be with my pastor i pray that you protect my pastor i pray that you put your words in his mouth so that he will speak the mystery of you god and speak the words of you god somebody lift up your words somebody lift up prayer begin to bring your pastor the family the wife before God in the name of Jesus some of our pastors their children are vagabonds it is not it is not our place to stand and complain and talk about them but your your responsibility as a child of God is to pray for them lift up your voice lift up your voice lift up your voice begin to bring your pastor before God poor sir Pray for me also too. In the name of Jesus. Father, let your own be greater. Let your own shame be greater. Let your favor, let the anointing of favor locate me. Locate my ministry. Whatever that I do, I pray. I lift up my voice that my ministry will flourish. Father, greater high nations of the world. Now that the ministry and the calling will not be the confines of this life land uh, but it will go beyond the borders of dallas the borders of texas the borders of united states in the name of jesus um, father i humble myself and i bring myself before you use me mightily oh god in every land every place that i step up let there be a shaking let there be a talking for your good uh, i pray that you will you will be with me i pray that you will put your words in my mouth uh, i pray that your hand will rest upon my life that I will speak the mysteries of you, O God. That I will speak your mind. That I will stand boldly and speak fearlessly. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your spirit be reignited in me, O God. Let there be a new dawn of revival. Let there be a new dawn of revival. Let there be some shakings in the realms of the spirit that will manifest in the physical. Because of me, let the ministry be amplified because of me let the ministry
ministry take off because of me let the ministry see another dimension in the mighty name of jesus all the pastors in the metropolis of god the young the old everyone is in your hands holy spirit i pray tonight oh god that you preserve them you cause them to live for longer you cause them to abide abide in you you cause them to to stand in you you cause them to flourish you cause them to abound you cause them to do well expand grow and 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 do exploit in the name of jesus thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord hallelujah he said that so that i may speak the mysteries of god fearlessly because i am already ambassador in change ambassador in change when pastors are depressed they cannot even express it because if the church member is depressed and the pastor too is depressed who encourages who so at times we put on fake smiles so that the congregation will understand that all is well at times your pastor will be in financial difficulty and we cannot even be a blessing church members they will have money when a pastor buys a new car it becomes an issue when a pastor put on the best dress it becomes an issue the one who is blessing you you want that person to be poor it does not work like that when your pastor is, when your pastor is struggling indirectly it will affect you when your pastor is in a dying need indirectly it will affect you indirectly it will affect you and i i don't blame the congregation this is the canality that the enemy has put between the congregation and authority and if you are listening to me tonight paul said that i am ambassador in chains i cannot go anywhere but yesterday i am speaking the mind of god a lot of them are in 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 a, in a state in a state i mean they go to bed and they cannot sleep that is the reason why they will come and they will preach a message that you know that this message is not from god that is the reason why they will bring the prophet to come and take the money because they know that if the prophet does not come to take the money she will not bring it don't be like them have a change of mind support the ministry of your pastor support the ministry of the church amen we are praying he said that i am ambassador in chains this month nobody is saying give anything to anybody but the greatest gift that you can give to your pastor is to fast for your pastor is to pray for your pastor that whatever that he does it shall be well with him because child of god if it is well with your pastor it will be well with you if it is well with your pastor it will be well with you hey. all these complaints and murmurs got to cease yeah. ah. when you complain and you murmur you don't receive anything from god what? and you can be in church for years mm. and your life will still be the same i pray that somebody will understand this i pray that somebody will have deeper understanding this one it is for matured people people that understand the things of the spirit and they will apply wisdom and and make it fruitful in the physical see that pray for me too 
so that when I stand, God will put his word in my mouth and I will speak fearlessly and the mysteries of God. Hidden things will be made known. The pastor is always fasting for you, always praying for you, believing God for you. At times there are situations that we even see that as for this situation, there is nothing that can be done about it. But the pastor by faith will join hands with you and believe God with you and pray and things will change. The pastor becomes your teacher. The pastor becomes your covering. The pastor becomes everything that you have. He is there with you. When it is raining, he is there with you. When every, I mean every time, every time, every time, every time, the pastor is there for you. The whole year, October is being dedicated to appreciate men of God. Child of God, bless God for your, your, for your pastor's life. Pray that it shall be well. Somebody lift up your voice. You are saying, God, let it be well with my pastor. Let it be well with my pastor. Whatever it let let his health be well. Mind, let, let there be a sound mind, peace. Let there be peace. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you once again. We bring our pastors before you, the men of God before you. We pray for the peace that comes from above to fill their minds, their hearts, and their homes. Let their ministries never be the same. Father, cause it cause, cause there to be a shift yeah. that it will be well with them, it will be well with their families, it will be well with their ministries. Let there be a turning around, oh God, that all eyes will see that this is the doings of the Lord. May your name be praised, may your name be glorified, may your name be lifted Hallelujah. because you are God. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you for praying with your pastors. God bless you. If you attend church, don't give your tithe to any man. Give your tithe to that church. So that the ministry can grow. People are calling you, bring this, bring that, do this, do that. And we fall for all these things. And they will not teach you because they want to use their intellect to, to, to change up certain things. Ah. The best place to connect your blessings is to connect with the pastor and, and plant seeds under the pastor's feet. Bible said that Abraham, Abraham blessed Mekhizedek and brought the tight. And Mekhizedek said, it is the greater that will bless the lesser. Release a blessing upon his life. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. You cannot be in church and pay your tithe somewhere. It is an error. It is a mistake. It is a spiritual. You see, you have deviated from the spiritual protocol. And for that matter, your blessing is blocked. Yes. It is biblical. You got to understand this. Nobody will tell you this. They are calling you from everywhere. Nigeria and prophet this and I saw this and I saw that. You too, you can see. Because the spirit of God is inside of you. You are calling your pastor 12 a.m. And you go and give your money to someone that you don't know. That is an error. Appreciate your pastor. Bless your pastor. Let your pastor know that at least all the preachings that he has been preaching to you, 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 you appreciate it. You appreciate it. And don't be so angry when your pastor put on some nice suit. There are a lot of people, they are so carnal. If you don't like it and your pastor wants it, it is a blessing. Your pastor cannot be wretched and stand in front of you. It is not appropriate. Bless the men of God. Support them. You can support them in so many ways. Send them text messages. Pastor, how are you? I was checking up on you. Say, Pastor, I am praying with you. Is there anything that you need me to do? Let the pastors know that you are there to support don't join those that are complaining for them they don't know where they are going be, dis be distinct
distinct and unique don't listen to what others are saying be be a be the, that that christian that will that will stand out appreciate your pastor bless them honor them they are they are also to flesh and blood when you say something and they hear they also feel it like the way you feel it handle them with mercy handle them with care you will never know until they are no more you will never know the value of your pastor until your pastor is no more that is when you will see that there is a great vacuum the wisdom and the counsel that your pastor brings on the table you don't have any idea you don't have any idea bless them be with them support them pray for them honor them respect them there are some church members they don't respect at all respect them respect them respect their own respect their office whatever that you you honor you respect you attract everything that you respect anything that you honor anything that you adore anything that you appreciate you receive the same measure yes I'm being, I'm being, I'm being, I'm speaking the, the mind of God. What? Speaking the mind of God. Oh, Been with you for years. Oh. Been with you for years. What you want? And someone will come. Someone will come. Oh. That person, that same message can preach it the same year. But your pastor is always preaching new messages. Have you thought about that? And that person will come, will call for certain amounts. And we will give it out. Be with your pastor. Don't leave your pastor. Yeah. There are so many pastors that are burnt out and they are depressed. They don't know what to do. Is that they should leave, they should stay, they should go, they should come. They don't know what to do. But your prayer, your prayer, your prayer will keep the pastor moving when you see the pastor smile to the pastor and this pa- yeah, i was entering the pastor didn't greet me and i was t- I mean, the pastor didn't shake my hand and I, but the pastor didn't do this what, what from all these things where did we learn all these things where from all these things at times the pastor might have seen you but there are 21 things going through the mind and my my pipe bypass you it is not deliberate we have been giving you the, the i mean you, you we got to we got to elevate from that that realm to another dimension yes appreciate them bless them be there for them don't always call when you are in, in a dying need call them and be like pastor i was calling to say hi it's good to hear your voice paul said that i am ambassador in chains ambassador in chains a lot of the pastors are depressed especially in this dallas metropolis because people have they they have been signed and and they have taken a contract all that they have all that they have been assigned is to disintegrate is to break down unless a pastor subject does not come on the board and this person have done this huh and that person have done this huh i mean i mean you instead of you to go on your knees and plead for mercy for your pastor paul said that pray for me too as i'm speaking to you somebody got to pray for me too i need your prayers because it is not the beginning that matters it is the ending there are so many people that started coding end because of the conditions that they find themselves we went for a conference and a man of god said that i was about to leave the church and i will not even tell anybody but because we were having fellowship there were words of encouragement he said that i'm going back to fix the problem things are going on let's handle them with pity mercy temper justice with mercy is also to a flesh and a blood handle the the pastor's wife with care handle the pastor's family with care they are also to somebody 
At times they cannot go anywhere. They cannot do certain things that you know you do. But if you should see your pastor somewhere, you pick a phone and call and be like, huh? I just saw him this place. Come and see what he's doing. Now. May God help us. May the spirit of God help us. May God grant us the grace, deeper understanding, and revelation. Let there be light so that we will know how to appreciate our pastors. It shouldn't be in October that you appreciate your pastor. When you go to the store and you find something that is nice, buy some for your pastor. Appreciate your pastor. Love on him. Let your pastor feel at home. Thank you, Jesus. What you May God help us. Okay, enough about pastor's appreciation. If you have your Bibles, let's turn to the book of Mark chapter number 16, the verse 18. Mark chapter number 16. If you have your Bible, let's turn to the book of Mark chapter number 7, 16. Mark chapter number 16. Hallelujah. Um, Matthew Mark. Honestly, the last chapter in the book of Mark. The verse 17. Mark 16, the verse 17. He says that, and these signs will accompany those who believe. Hey. Say, I believe. Hey. Say that these signs will accompany them that believe. Hey. He says that in my name they will drive out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up the snake with their hands. And when they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. They will place their hands on the sick people and they will get away. Last week we understood that the name of Jesus is powerful. It is the two that believers we have to overcome the devices of the enemy. I'm speaking the second part of the power in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is the gateway to eternal life. The name of Jesus is the gateway to eternal life. So we understood from the book of Acts chapter number 3. That when Peter and John saw the man who was slain by birth. They said that in the name of Jesus rise up and walk. Because what you are asking for we do not have. But there is something significant. There is something powerful that we have. That we can give you. And this will be the gateway for your eternal life. Nobody will tell you. But as for us. We have been commanded. And we are working under the power of the Holy Spirit. 
therefore the God that we believe Amen. and the son of God that he sent on this planet earth Amen. came so that the one that couldn't do anything the lame will receive strength and they will walk Amen. so he said that in the name of Jesus rise up and walk the revelation about the name of Jesus believer got to understand Merci. that we cannot use the name of Jesus anyway anyhow uh, uh, because his name cannot be blasphemed because when that name is being mentioned every knee bows so Bible said that Peter and just said look at us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth rise up and walk in the name of jesus christ of nazareth it says that rise up and walk in the name of jesus rise up and walk so there is something unique there is something significant about the name of jesus so we understood that when we call on that name jesus we are being saved Romans chapter number 10, the verse 3, the verse 13. He says that when we call on the name of Jesus, the unsaved shall be saved, the unrich shall be rich, the hopeless can receive hope. So we receive, we, we receive salvation through his name. And we said that when we mention the name of Jesus, every knee bows. The name of Jesus is so powerful like that when we mention that name every knee bow. Tonight I speak prophetically into your life that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Those that have been piercing you on every side, they will bow. Those that are looking for your downfall in the name of Jesus. Those that are looking out that by the year, by the time this year ends, you will not live. In the name of Jesus, you will live to declare the works of God. So when we call on that name, we are saved. When we call on the name of Jesus, every knee bows. And the, the next thing that we said is that when the name of Jesus is being called, why? The name of Jesus is being called, when we call on his name, what do you mean, yeah? we have access to the Father. Oh, and I- John chapter number 40, the verse 6. Yeah. We have access to the Father. Oh, yeah. When we call on his name. There is there there is that that access that we have there is no blockade nothing stands on our way we have access to the father tonight i bring you the second part the power in the name of jesus somebody if you are listening you are watching just type the power in the name of jesus yes say i believe that there is power in the name of jesus i understand that there is power in the name of jesus thank you lord so we understood from the premises in the book of acts in the book of mark chapter number 16 that jesus has risen and here is the case that he's giving his last impartation to the disciples and when you get to the verse 17 we understood that he was commissioning them that whatever that you see me do greater things you will do whatever that you believe whatever that you lay hands on whatever that you have seen me do you will do greater and mighty so the the power in the name of jesus when that when when we mention that name demons flee yes yes when that name is being mentioned <laughs> when that name is being mentioned so don't be scared about any marine spirit 
don't be scared about anybody that is calling you to traumatize you telling you that that person died and it is your time to die tell the person you rebuke it in the name of jesus you reverse it in the name of jesus you send it back to the sender in the name of jesus you 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 come to the to the point of knowing that the name of jesus when it is being mentioned demons flee they don't stay they run away because they don't have any room to operate anymore uh -huh. thank you jesus thank you holy ghost so he says that and these signs will accompany you the ministry of jesus was a ministry of signs and wonders i pray that our churches will experience signs and wonders manifestations of his gifts the power of god will be at work the move of god will be at work he says that and god he said that these signs and miracles will accompany you only if you believe yes and tonight my question is do you believe in the name of jesus if you believe in the name of jesus then signs and wonders will be your portion so number one understand this he says that in my name you will drive out demons that is number one powerful powerful if you believe in my name you will drive out demons don't let anybody deceive you that there is nothing like demons they exist they operate in the realms of the spirit you are always angry you are always having issue with something there is always something wrong you get on the road and the police stops you all kinds of things you go and get a new car and you crash it i mean as for you alone everything that you lay hands on it is not going well and you ask yourself why so he said that if you believe these signs will accompany you and in the in the in, in my name you will drive out demons you see don't picture any man don't picture any woman but begin to understand in your mindset that there are so many battles that believers we confront on daily basis that you need the power in the name of jesus to overcome you need the power in the name of jesus to override you need the power in the name of jesus to ascertain and be in a place of comfort and lead why is it that everybody will be in a car everybody will be in a plane all sort of people all sort of people yesterday the, the, a whole school bus got crashed in mesquite here understanding you see our children can fall victims of this but we are always appropriating the blood and the power in the name of jesus as a covering for their life so they are always escaping the snares so when the car is about to crash whether a buddhist a muslim atheist everybody is mentioning the name of jesus why are they not mentioning the name of their cause because there is something about the name of jesus death could not hold him in captive even in the grave he was still god this is what i am talking about that is the mystery that is the mystery you will need understand it but that is the mystery but i pray that god will give us spiritual insight he said that in my name you will drive out demons so the fourth thing is that when the name of jesus is being mentioned demons flee said that when you mention the name of jesus you will speak in new tongues you speak in another language and nigeria man will tell you in another language yes you, you will speak the mind of god he says that they will pick 
grab snakes with their hands and will drink deadly poison but it will not hurt them it means that where there is fire you will go and come out where there is chaos you will go and you come out where everybody could not survive you will go there and you will survive at the mention of the name of jesus somebody give god praise somebody give god praise somebody give god praise said that you pick up snakes you drink deadly poison but you will not be hurt do you know the things that we are eating somebody can use his eyes huh, and look into something huh, and can even do something the bible let us to understand only if we believe signs these signs accompany us i pray that this man signs and wonders will accompany you at the mention of his name jesus don't be afraid of anybody don't be scared about the things that are going on in your family don't be scared about the things that you are hearing he said that he that is with us is greater than he that is in the world then he said he said that i have given him a name that is about every other name so what are you afraid of what are you scared of what are you so traumatized of at the mention of his name so we are eating some things but we are still strong we are drinking some things but we are still strong we have been to places we have held certain things that some people held and they were shocked but yet still you are alive that is the power in the name of jesus may god tonight may god tonight i said that may god tonight open your eyes to see and open your ears to hear thank you holy ghost and he says that you will place your hands on the sick and the sick shall be made well you see healing is, is is a bonus when we say something is a bonus it yeah. means that i mean it, it comes it, it comes as is it is a privilege that believers have if you believe in my name you will place your hands on the sick and mention the name of jesus and the sick shall be made well so when peter and john said look at us in the name of jesus rise up and walk they held the man and pulled him up the woman with the issue of the blood touched the hem of the garment what are you talking about nothing can break you that sickness that caused your father or your mother to die nowadays the the sickness that is is so deadly is cancer no. all forms it can attack your heart your brain it can attack i mean your i mean i mean so many parts of your body your throat neck eyes breast all sort of things it will take the intervention of god to deliver you now children at 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 the minimal age are having diabetes diabetes type 2 all sort of sicknesses they are on medication at early age you are on diabetes medication for how long are you going to survive with this he says that at the mention of his name you believe and you lay hands on the sick the sick shall be made well somebody watching me somebody left listening to me hold your hands and be like lord let my i pray for healing hands i speak in the name of jesus the son of the living god that from today at your workplace that from today in the church that from today in your family that from today wherever that you find yourself let your hands be turned into a healing hands you will lay hands on the sick and the sick shall be made well I speak it I prophesy it I proclaim it 
over your life. Wafa. Healing hands. Yay. Healing hands. This is no joke. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Say that you lay hands on the sick and they will be made well. The next thing you should understand the name of Jesus is so powerful. Why? Because it is our identity as Christians. It is our identity as Christians. Acts chapter number 11, the verse 26. The name of Jesus is the identity of we believers. So don't be so shy to proclaim his name. Oh, Jesus. Amen. At times you are even shy. When we go to a place that they are drinking, we are even shy to tell them that ask for me, I don't drink, I'm a Christian. <laughs> that is our identity. That is what our identity. Yeah. That is our identity. That is our identity. The church became church when the people of Antioch identify some Christ like attitude in the life of believers. So from that day, they were called Christians. That is your identity. We see you and we see Christ. Everything about you. In the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is so powerful because that is our identity. Acts eleven twenty six. Acts eleven twenty six. What sabre kata? Jane se Abraham ni onyango ponna te. Nukrem. Bre ula di frane katira ni se. He said that, and when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. So for a whole year, Barnabas and Saul met with the church and taught great number of the people. The disciples were called Christians first at Antioch. It is our identity. There is no two ways about it. There is no two ways about it. There is no two ways about it. That is our identity. What? The question that I will ask you tonight. Hey. Can people really tell that you have Jesus in your life? Uh, when you are can people really tell? You also. We open your mouth and every word that is coming out of your mouth does not even depict as a child of God. Say mercy. May the, may the Lord that we serve have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. They were first called Christians because they saw something unique in them. The name of Jesus was their, their topmost priority. They couldn't do anything without the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus becomes our identity. Child of God, if you are listening to me, and you don't have any place of worship. Find a place of worship and attend and serve God. Serve God from your heart. Serve God from your heart. Serve God from your heart. Christianity is you and the people that you will bless. Serve God from your heart. I will continue next week 
and let me give you the last the, the next point the fifth point is that when the name of jesus is being mentioned we get everything that we want we get everything that we want our prayers are being answered turn your bibles with me to the book of john chapter number 16 the verse 23 and 24 john 16 the verse 23 and 24 he says that in that day you will no longer ask me anything very truly i tell you my father will give you whatever you ask in my name he said that my father will give you whatever you ask in my name my father will give you whatever that you you ask in my name oh jesus the verse 26 the verse 26 let's read from the verse 24 or say until now you have not asked for anything in my name ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete ask and you receive and your joy will be complete you see as at now you have not asked anything in my name but anything you ask in my in, 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 in my father's name through me you shall receive it so we get everything that we want when the name of jesus is being mentioned okay. thank you lord ah thank you jesus any other four tonight when the name is being mentioned demons bow when that name is being mentioned the sick is healed when that name is being mentioned it makes us bold and that is our identity when that name is being mentioned whatever that we ask be received may god bless you god be with you may you have this hope and assurance that you serve a living god the power in the name of jesus next week we will conclude it next we will conclude it hallelujah next we will conclude it but somebody lift up begin to declare the name of jesus whatever situation that you are facing right now whatever challenge that you are going through right now whatever sickness that you find yourself in right now chronic acute whatever whatever circumstance present need that you find yourself he said that you have not asked that is the reason why you have not received but anything you ask in my name my father in heaven will do it somebody right now lift up your voice somebody right now lift up prayer declare the name of jesus upon your life declare the name of jesus upon your marriage declare the name of jesus upon your children declare the name of jesus in the church somebody lift up your voice at your workplace makabatu zabadia talabaroske makadis let there be a new revival in our community, O oh God. Let there be a transformation, O oh God, in this metropolis. Let there be a new upliftment, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let many know you in the name of jesus we take possession of dallas in the name of jesus we take possession of texas in the name of jesus we take possession of united states let every every knee bow let every tongue confess you are god let souls be saved let souls be saved let souls be saved let the depression let the captive be set free let the oppressed be set free in the mighty name of jesus 
let the sick right now be healed let cancer flee right now in the name of jesus let the blind see let the lame walk let the deaf and dumb hear and speak in the name of jesus i pray i speak into the life of many oh god let the let the light of god shine through them let the power of god be at work in their lives this month of october i pray that the joy of your children will be full i pray that the joy of your children will be full i pray that the joy of your children will be full in the mighty name of jesus i pray oh god that there will be redemption you redeem your people let the glory of god manifest in their life as we end the year oh god may our boundaries be secured in the name of jesus let our children be saved in the name of jesus let our water our food be saved oh god for consumption father preserve the life of many we come against accident right now in the name of jesus we come against accident right now we come against deadly accidents on the road father exempt your people from every untimely death father exempt your people from every untimely death be with your children oh god let the power of god be at work in our lives we give you praise we give you glory yes lord there are a lot of activities a lot of funeral a lot of things going on in our community let's 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 stand with our community and pray with our community will somebody join me father we pray we come against any gloom any doom we come against wind of death we, we let, let it be blown away lord let it be blown away lord father let it be certainty in this community let you let let your hand stretch to was every child every child in this metropolis right now our african community our Ghanaian community oh god those that have lost their loved ones we pray in the name of jesus the father you be with them you will comfort them you will strengthen them thank you jesus christ center of hope assembly of god from on the 8th to on the 14th we are embarking on a week prayer and fast friday next week that is on the 12th of october this one is all believers all night we will start at 9 p.m wherever that you are you can't afford join us Monday morning will be on the prayer line from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. In the evening from 7 from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. From Monday to Friday morning. And Friday evening, we will gather at church. And we will lift up, we will celebrate God and go before God. The way we will end the year will determine them the speed that we will start the year with. So we are not waiting for 31st night. We are starting the journey right now. We got to position ourselves well. So join us from Monday to Sunday on the 8th to on the 14th. We are embarking on a week prayer and fast seeking the way see, seeking the face of god yeah, yeah. Uh, well, the tip is let the redeem of the lord Someone. let the redeem of the lord hey. you will believe in god friday oh. i am believing god everybody watching me listening to me right hey. now if you live in this metropolis oh, it is not about the church that you attend it is about we gathering and praying as believers and as children of god Amen. Tomorrow we will have miracle service. Sunday, our Sunday service is taking another dimension. Very unique and very spirit filled. 9 30 a.m. to 12 30. That is our, our family service on Sundays. And on Friday, we have miracle service from 7 p.m. Child of God, if you want any other information, call this number 972-750-1636. And, and you, will have, you, you will get more details. 
and God bless you. The address to Christ Center of Hope. It is on the screen. But it's going to be 9560 Skillman Street. Suit number 117. Dallas, Texas. 75243. This is a church that God has brought in this end time. In this metropolis. To be a blessing to our young ones. A blessing to family. It is a center of hope. And assemblies of God church. When you come, your life will never be the same. God bless you. Next week on the 14th, on the 13th, we're going to have victory worship. And, and, and it's going to be powerful. Pastor Denzel will be in town. Let's join our brother Victor. And let's go do it together. God bless you at the Church of Pentecost in Carrollton. And your life will never be the same. God bless you all. God bless you all. And I love you with the love of the Lord. God bless you, brother Victor. God bless you, my mom, Juliana, Cetra Bonsu, all the way from Chicago. Yes. God bless you. God bless you, my senior brother Aaron. Mensa Pepra, Mr. Pepra, God bless you. Auntie Priestley Hammond, God bless you. God bless you, DJ Omari. God bless you. My sister Ophelia, God bless you. My brother Edward. Mama Joa Pinama, God bless you. Cecilia from Austin, God bless you. Mother Deborah, God bless you. Wow. A very powerful and anointed woman of God. Ama Abuajiwa, God bless you. Yain Shiraba, God bless you. Franco Fori, God bless you. Mama Gloria Jimai, God bless you. Stajimaima, God bless you. Mama Georgina, God bless you. Nana Jewajiwa, Mama Nana Jewajiwa, God bless you. My sister Harriet, how are you? Ampa! Ko Anan, God bless you for watching. Mr. Kwesi Mensa, God bless you. And of you all, those that are listening, wherever that you are, in London, in Canada, wherever that you are, God bless you. Let's show appreciation to our pastors this month. Let's love the Lord. Let's save God from our heart. God bless you. See you same time next week. And until we meet, be the good Lord. Go ahead of you as a mighty man of valor. We are out of here. Bye-bye.